Hey there, my name's David. On this episode, I'll be doing a review of this, the Trekology hiking pole. So I've used this uh, quite a bit now for the past, I don't know, six or eight months. Uh, probably put on eh, maybe 20, 20 or so, 25 hikes on this thing and some like pretty good ones. So yeah, we're going to go over the build quality, the pros and cons of this thing and uh, the price and then my overall like impression of it. So first off, what you get with this thing is a folding trekking pole, as you can see, which folds out into three segments that are, you know, have a cable in the middle. Um, I like this style a lot more than the ones that slide inwards, just because when you're pushing all your weight on it and you really depend on your life to hold this, hold your weight, you're not, you know it's not gonna slide in, which is the, the only, the main reason, the only reason why I don't use those other ones that have the clamps and, and slide into, because like sometimes if you use those hiking poles, they will slide in a bit. I've, I've had friends where it's happened before where the, the clamps don't hold when you're applying all your weight on it. Say if you're on a scramble and you're really relying on it and it starts to slide in even just a bit, like that can make a big difference if you're in a really precarious place. So for that reason, that's why I switched to this style. Build quality of this I find is pretty good especially for the price, which we'll get into, but it's got a cork handle. As you can see, the rest of this is foam. It's got a pretty long handle and it's got a nice, um, the length of this uh, wrap at the end is nice because I actually find I'll, if I'm like really tired, I'll use my hand like this and I'll just kind of, <laughs> I just kind of like get really lazy with it. And it allows me to just kind of use the pole but not have to like be holding it the whole time. So at ends of hikes, I'm usually dangling my hand and just kind of using some weird uh, T-Rex grip on here. But um, yeah, so it's got like, uh, strap here at the top too. You can see a little Velcro strap. So when you fold it up, it's not dangling all over the place, which is really nice. You don't want these things kind of clanking all over the place. You can Velcro it down really quick. It's got adjustable thing for the height. So it's got a clamp here. You can see, you open this up and it drops down. So there's a stop on here. So you don't want to go for past that. It goes up to 130 centimeters and down to 115 centimeters based on, you know, how tall you are. I use it somewhere in the middle. Actually, I change this when I'm going downhill, I, I max it out. And when I'm going uphill, I make it a lot shorter. And if it's flat, then I put it in the middle, which is actually where it should be from based on my height. And then you just snap it down. And I've found that this has not slid at all, which is good. And even if it were to slide, it's only gonna slide a, you know, a small amount. It's not like the whole you know, section of the pole is gonna collapse on itself, but it does have a metal gear that you can tighten. So when you clamp this down, it really is tight. So you can adjust this so it does, you know, is more snug and secure. But I've never had this slide on me in the six months I've been using it and I've had this in some very precarious places. Okay, so to use this, all you're gonna do is pull down on this little section here and it'll actually line up all the sections of the pole. And then you just pull it down until there's a little arrow right here. And this, this little knobby will click in and to, to get it to go back in, you just push this little metal knob in and it slides in. I, I haven't found that this knob gets pushed. It's not like it hits my hip and the whole thing collapses. I've never had that happen. And I've never pinched my thumb while uh, putting this back in. You know, you just simply push it in and slide it in. It, I've never had any problems with this style. I know some people don't like this style, but you know, like let's get, get right into the cons. We can do the cons before the pros of this thing. So that's one thing, if you pull too hard, when you're opening this, this will actually pop off the end. Uh, it doesn't really, I mean, there's no reason why you would be doing that, but the one time I actually have found that's a problem is I had this stuck in some mud. And when I tried to pull it out, it was so stuck when I pulled up, the top of this actually popped off. <laughs> and so I was a little surprised and it, you just pop it back on. It doesn't, you know, it's, it's not like, it's just cause it takes a lot of force to pull it off as you can see. And it just sits on the end of this pole. You know, there's nothing, it's not like anything, it breaks or whatever, it just pops back on. There's a little black cap here when you slide it over there, it gets kind of tight on there. And that's it, like it doesn't, it's not really an issue unless you're getting this stuck in mud all the time. And even then I've only had it pop off once. That was, and that's basically the only cons. Oh, and also the um, the tip of this thing. So it's got this, you know, spiky tip, which I like. Um, what it doesn't have is it doesn't have a compression spring. I really like poles that have the springy. So when you push down, it just has that little bit of cushion. It just feels really nice when you're hiking. It doesn't have that. And it also has um, some threads on the end here for some of those caps you can turn on. You can, there's like a cap for the, the mud. It's a, the mud cap and a snow cap. Um, I've used this while snowshoeing and the snow cap came off. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that because I cranked it on there really hard. It's just, you know, it keeps hitting the snow and the snow just twists a little bit and after an hour it popped off. So that's the only thing I'd say with this, the snow cap or potentially the mud cap, they'll, they'll come off eventually. So you might want to put an elastic band on this after you put that cap on. That's basically the only cons of this thing. It's really light. 
So again, to the pros here, it's really light. It folds up very quickly, as you can see, which I love. And I use this for trail running sometimes. And I'll just, I have a, a backpack and I'll just wrap it like this and I'll just keep my pole right there. And then when I need it, I can just pull it out and then just pull it down. And like, that's it, it's good to go. So it's really quick setup, really light. And um, it's adjustable. So, you know, obviously, like I said before, if I'm going downhill, I want extra length to reach down and put this on a precarious rock or something where I, you know, give me an actual foothold per se, then uh, that's really helpful. And um, yeah, the grip is really nice, you know, cork grip, so it's not slippery and it's held up pretty well. Um, you can see this one is, you know, it's, it's got a few nicks and scratches on it. I have another one, which I took on a, a Tower of Babel in, uh, in Alberta, which is above Moraine Lake, if you ever heard of that. And that's a really gnarly scramble hike. It's all just shattered rock that you're climbing up. It's a, just a scree pile. And my pole got pretty dinged up, but even then it's, it looks nasty, but it's still very functional. So I've taken these in some places where it's been very rough on them. Um, I, so I have two of these. I recommend getting two poles just because it saves your knees going downhill, but I usually only have one out because I usually, um, I'm filming stuff so I have a tripod in the other hand which I end up using kind of as a pole. In general, it's a, it's a great pole. The value is great. As for the price, I got this for 50 bucks Canadian, so you can't really beat that price. The only thing obviously would be better if it had the spring in it, if these guys made another one with the spring-loaded, you know, cushion. After about 20-something hikes using it, I can highly recommend this. Uh, for anyone who's looking just for even entry level, or if you're just looking to have a, a good hiking pole, uh, if you want to get go higher than this and get the, the shock loaded, you know, one, then you're going to be paying a lot more than 50 bucks. You'll probably be paying 150, 200 bucks for that. So you kind of have to weigh for yourself if it's worth it for that comfort for an extra, you know, tripling the price. So yeah, that's my review of the uh, Trekology trekking pole. Hope you enjoyed this and it was helpful to you. And uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more gear reviews and my adventure content.